Hi everyone, I'm Raymond Francis. Today we all live in a sea of toxins and we have to adapt to this because it's killing us. For the last century, we have unwittingly conducted a vast and complex chemistry experiment. We now live in a sea of toxins. This experiment in chemical living is having a catastrophic effect on our health, interfering with vital biologic processes and causing our cells and systems to malfunction. Yet this experiment is not only continuing, it's expanding. Each year, more and more toxic chemicals are put into our environment. Our bodies are bioaccumulating hundreds of these toxins, which are being passed on to unborn babies, damaging their future health. And this is why our children are so sick today. This is a major reason why our children are so sick today. We get sicker as we get older because we progressively become more toxic. We are now one of the most polluted species on the planet. These chemicals are scrambling our biochemistry, causing massive cellular malfunction and resulting in all kinds of disease, including cancer. By retirement age, our accumulated toxic loads are more than sufficient to cause cancer. To make matters worse, the detoxification capacity of our kidneys and liver diminishes with age, further challenging older people who already have the highest accumulations of toxic chemicals. Contributing even more to this toxic overload, most people are on prescription drugs. Here we are, we're already in toxic overload and then you take a prescription drug. Well, drugs are toxic chemicals that add substantially to the total toxic load, causing an epidemic of fatigue and poor memory and disorientation and premature death. Why would anybody deliberately take a poisonous chemical? And yet so many millions of people are taking prescription drugs. Resistance to disease plummets as toxins build up in our bodies. The threat to our health comes not only from individual chemicals, but also from the total chemical load that we're accumulating. And then the interactions between the hundreds of chemicals stored in our tissues. You have to understand, certain chemicals in combination become thousands of times more toxic than any one of them acting alone. Certain food additives, for example, which alone do not harm test animals, will kill the animals when you feed it to them in combination. And we eat these things in combination. Babies are being born loaded with toxins acquired from their mothers, causing an epidemic of birth defects and hyperactivity disorders and learning disabilities and childhood cancer. You know, it's scary that almost nothing is known about the toxicity of the millions of possible combinations of these various chemicals and the carcinogenity under various circumstances. Toxins compromise immunity and the result is a body that is not capable of destroying the excessive numbers of cancerous cells that are being produced today. Sooner or later, some of these cells survive and they multiply and then you have cancer. The body is able to cope with toxins to a certain point, but then you get sick. Some researchers believe we've already crossed the line and may have compromised all future life on the planet. As bad as things are, there are actions that each of us can take to reduce the impact of toxins on our health. You can do three things. One, reduce your daily exposure to toxins. Find out where they are and avoid them. That's simple. Two, 
nutritionally support your detoxification systems. There are certain um, vitamin C, for example, helps liver detoxification. So things you can take to support your detoxification systems. And three, remove stored toxins from your body. They're already there, they're stored, get them out. You can learn how to do these three things simply by reading the chapter on toxins in any of my five Raymond Francis books. If you do this well, your body will thank you with the gift of better health. Thank you so much for listening. Be happy. Be well.